Hey basketball coaches and players, today I'm going to give you my top three rebound drills for basketball teams, especially young basketball teams. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. Okay, so in this first drill, we have the coach. Of course, he is the one looking like the referee, but we're going to have two different lines. Now, from there, what we're going to have is the blue line, they're the ones who are going to be boxing out. The red line is going to be the one who is trying to get around the box out. Now, once they start boxing out, the coach is going to put up a shot, and whoever gets that rebound, the other player is going to then out be the outlet player at the free throw line extended. We're then going to have player 5 pivot and pass the ball out to player 1. And player 5 is going to then run to the point. Player 1 is going to pass to player 5 and do a high cut across. Player 5 is going to pass player 1 the ball. And then player 5 is going to cut towards the basket, receive the ball, 1 or 0 dribbles to the net for the easy left-handed layup. We can also do the same thing. It would just be obviously ran on in the other direction. Obviously, once the player from the blue line is finished, he goes in the back of this line, and once the red player is finished, he goes in the back of that line after they get their rebound and pass it back to the coach. Now, the great thing about this drill is it doesn't just teach rebounding. It, ke it also teaches outlet passes, it also teaches moving without the ball, and it, move, it teaches moving towards the net, cutting towards the net, so that we can have a nice pass and a layup. Nice crisp passes, and you'll be all set. Now this next drill, we're going to have the, the two lines at each elbow, and of course we're going to be having each player moving down. They're going to be trying to box out each other, and the coach is going to take that shot. Now. This is a very basic drill and you can use it as a competition. You can say whichever line gets the most rebounds gets a win, but also you can say whoever gets the rebound gets one point and then if you can score you get another point. Or if you're the defender and you stop that player from scoring then you also get one point. So for example, if player two was to get that rebound Player 3 came around, blocked the shot, because you're, I'm only going to allow 3 dribbles and 1 shot. What I want to see then is now, play, or what I would have then, is the red team getting a point for stopping the basket, and the blue team getting a point for getting the rebound, so it's tied 1-1. Meanwhile, if player 2 was to get the rebound and score, the blue team would get 2 points, the red team would get 0. And then I would run that drill up to 11 points or 15 points, whatever you feel comfortable with, and that way they get used to competition. Competition also teaches them how to work harder, which allows your team not just to improve, but also win more games. Now in this next drill, we're going to be using the full court, but I wanted to show you this drill in the half court because the other half, it doesn't really matter. So what we are going to have is the coach in the middle of the free throw line. At this point in time, we're going to have one team on the inside circle and another team on the outside circle. Now you could actually run this as a game, a full court game with 10 players. You can also have substitutions for your players as well and you can figure that out. If you get scored on, you get subbed out, that kind of a thing. Or however which way you want to do your subs, it doesn't matter. Either way, what we're going to have is the inside line, they are going to be running in a circle in one direction and then the outside line is going to be running the other direction. At this point, the coach is going to have them run for 10, 20 seconds, whatever you feel like. And at that point, the coach is going to take that shot. That's when these players will match up and try to box out each other. And let's say the blue team gets that ball. Well, I want to see an outlet player here, an outlet player here. Whoever's on the sides, they're outlets. I want to see player one at this point because he's at the point to be running down court and same as player four. Now player two has an option to pass to player five or to player three. Because he's on this side of the court, I would really want him to be focusing on player 5. And I would also have player 3 cutting towards the middle if player 5 was not open. So let's say these two players have already looked down or gone down court. 
and we have player five covered, we would have player three coming towards the middle. Player two would then pass player three the ball, and you can get down court that way and set up your offense. That's what the other side of the court is for. This is so that you can set up your offense and say only one shot allowed once they're on the other side of the court and they're running your offense, running whatever play you want them to run, they take one shot, they stop, they get back into their circle and now you get back down court, you do the exact same thing just going the other direction. Now going back the other direction, if the outside, if there was the team on the outside circle before, the other end of the court they'll be the inside circle, whatever side or whatever started with the inside circle is now going to be the outside circle and you can keep on cycling through. You can keep count on whoever gets a rebound and whoever gets a point and whoever gets a stop. Because those are the three things that I care about when I'm coaching basketball. Who can get the rebound, who can score, and who can stop the basket. Those are the three points that they can get. If they get the rebound and they score, they get two points. If they get the rebound but they don't get the points, then the defense gets the points. And you can run this up to 21 or whatever you feel like. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. Make sure to go check out my unbeatable basketball defense down in the description below as well as my 5-out complete tutorial. It's down there as well and I'll see you guys again in my next video.